fun. Okay, rewind. I guess I have to tell you where we've been to kind of tell you where we're going. We've been looking into getting another motorhome, doing a different type of adventure. My dad's dream is kind of the incognito and stay out in national parks and stuff like that where they don't have hookups and have solar panels, composting toilet, kind of like the van life, but with a motorhome. Spice things up a bit. story though because my parents oh my gosh my parents have been looking at motorhomes for the past like four months they'll just go to look and they'll have a new favorite motorhome like every week they've been looking and they found one they absolutely loved and they're like this will work perfectly for us so we all went to go see it and we went in and we all liked it we're like yeah this looks great this would fit us perfectly they go up to buy and they say, oh, we're closed for the night, but come back tomorrow and we'll, you know, sign paperwork and stuff like that. Well, they go back the next morning and they go, oh, this one was sold last night. So my dad looks up on, I don't know, the internet somewhere and finds a different motorhome down in Houston, which is like a four hour drive for us, five hour drive. We get down there, I'm FaceTiming my mom because she had plans that day that she couldn't cancel. And I show her around the motorhome and it works even better than the one that we had previously wanted. So we end up making an offer on that one and my mom didn't even see it before we bought it. So here's Kevin and Leah giving a tour of our motorhome. So hey guys, we're gonna go and we're gonna take you on a tour of our motorhome that we just bought. It's a Bounder 36H, so let's go. So we make this one in a couple different colors. This is the one we got, it's kind of like a gold with some gray, with some red. The door is actually behind the passenger seats um, instead of in front, there's a lot that but you walk in right in between the dash and the passenger seat. And we didn't want that in our motorhome because the feature that we needed and we wanted was a lowerable um, bed above the coach. And why do we throw our lights back on? No, just shield it. <laughs> and so... No, they dimmed. They dimmed? Did they it? definitely dimmed. We're still figuring some stuff out on this motorhome. Also, another thing we like about it is this folds out into a full-size queen. So, this sleeps two, this sleeps another two, and this turns into kind of a fold that you could get to if you're snuggly. Stainless steel appliances. We we have the full oven as well as the convection oven microwave combination. Uh, so we kind of you know you can cook cookies and um, roast at the same time. Last time our cookies were nasty. Cookies were kind of nasty. 
But so let's continue on. We have a electric fireplace. Okay, kids, I don't think you're gonna get it to work. And nope. We'll come back once we get that figured out. First door that normally stays open. Voila. We have bunk, bunk beds. beds. So we got this little cute little stair thing. Open bathroom door. This thing comes off. While you're driving, you throw it inside the bed. And we got this bathroom over here. It's a half bathroom. But it has everything you need. Is this toilet is about 8 to 10 inches up off the floor. If you've ever sat on the edge of a cliff and just looked over a view, it's kind of the same feeling you, you get because you're, you're a little bit higher up. That was a little bit weird. There's plenty of storage space behind the mirror. Got a breaker box. Everything like that you need. <laughs> now we're on to section three, the master bedroom. So here in the master bedroom, we have a king size bed. We have quite a bit of storage space. There's a lot of hanging space for whatever hanging clothes you need whenever you're out RVing. You never know when you're going to a wedding or anything fun like that. And then also under here, we have quite a bit of um, quite a bit of storage space. Extra space. Let's keep going. Here we do have a full bathroom. So we have toilet, it's also kind of the cliff setup. And then we have a shower with these cool little latches so they don't swing all around while you're driving. Then we got washer and dryer. Washer oh. and dryer, two in one. So this thing, it's pretty okay. darn small. There's some yeah, clothes in there right now. Yeah, that's closer in there. Mm -hmm. um, nice to have clean clothes and not have to run to a laundry mat, but you do have to do them most every day. So um, this is our motorhome. We should think she wouldn't stay under there. Come on, Olivia, get out. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> You've had your. Your nap's <laughs> over. <laughs> In 2015, our family hiked from Georgia to Maine. We had never been hiking before. We'd never been into hiking. It's something exciting to do. I didn't know we'd be spending six months in the woods. That's for sure. But it was one of the best experiences of my life. When I'm planning a trip, YouTube is the first thing that I go to to see things to do in this area or cool places to go, where to stay, where not to stay what to do, tips and tricks, things that other people have figured out before me so I can start from there in planning our trip. Going to Greece, going to London, going to Israel, and I watch videos on YouTube to find out where people have gone, things they wish they knew, and I started thinking, I wouldn't know the information if someone didn't make that video. So yeah. But hey, stay tuned. I'm probably going to be making other videos of updates that we do on our motorhome. And we have a bigger trip planned, so stay tuned for that. Follow the channel. Hi, I'm Olivia Nice. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Perfect.